So for me to go to F major and put a B flat in there, yeah, technically we're taught, you see an F major seven chord, you put a B flat, you play that scale with a B flat. Um, I don't think that way in this case because the chord before and the chord after have Bs in it. So to keep the continuity and, and to keep um, more of the notes the same, then I, I put a B in there. So the B can pl be played right through those chords. And you'll see when I, when I start to improvise on it. Um, so that's how I judge those between notes. What goes in between? I look at the chord before, the chord after. Sometimes there's a mix. Sometimes the chord before might have a B flat and the chord after might have a B. Sometimes the chord before might have a B and the chord after a B flat. And then you have to use your ears and make a choice. So, um, but that's, you know, that's all what music's about. There's in these notes in between, there's not always a clear and definite answer. It's, it's not like, oh, you play a major scale or you play, you play the Dorian scale. There's some question marks in there that you have to make decisions about. Okay, so now it goes to E minor 7. So if I play that... Okay, so that, that's the Aeolian mode. It's the 6 mode of G major. It's got an F sharp in it. But it's not Dorian. If it was Dorian, it would have a C sharp. Now you might think, well, Steve, why don't you put a C sharp? You, when you see minor, you play Dorian. Well, I didn't put a C sharp for the same reason I just talked about. Because